very good morning from me over into uh, Wasdale heading up to Scarfell Pike England's highest summit been up there before and I'm going to take the same route Wasdale Head car park and we're going up via uh, Mickledore we have a little scrambly route up there but uh, a lot of fun so I'm really looking forward to it I've been up since 10 to 3 this morning so a three hour journey over here I've had uh, 40 winks in the car ready to get started there now and we're starting to get a steady stream of people coming up there now and I set up at 7 o'clock I didn't expect to be as many people as this coming up but then again it is the school holidays we need to cross the river here it's always a, a bit of fun One foot in. Only got one wet foot. Not too bad. Could be a lot worse. So after Ling Mel Gill, more climbing. No, oh, looks like the sun's trying to get out and all. Lovely. Starting to get a bit of height there now. And lovely view down there over Wastwater. I think I'll have 10, 15 minutes here. Yeah, not a breath of wind at the moment. Uh, I should have took this jacket off before I stopped actually, but uh, I better keep it on there now. But yeah, a long journey over here, three hours. Initially, I was going to come over here for a couple of days and camp at the National Trust campsite. Only problem is, uh, it was full for the rest of the holidays. Again, I was going to do Skidor today, but then I saw uh, Chris from the MCM Outdoor Show. He did uh, Scarfell last week for the first time. I think I'll do it as well. So here we are again. <laughs> yeah, the trouble with my 10-15 uh, minute breaks they turn into 20-25 minutes because I, every time somebody goes past I have a good chat to them. But either way, some uh, nice people have gone up there so hopefully the, uh, they'll all make it to the top. I imagine that most of them will go uh, the traditional wheel. Uh, I think about another 15-20 minutes there should be a fork on the path and I'm going to take a right hand turn in there and go the scrambly route through Mickledor. I did it once before, there was uh, four of us went up there. Had a really nice day, really enjoyed it. But some big clouds coming over the top there. Having said that, it looks quite bright over there. I'm gonna take this uh, top layer off and uh, get a wiggle on, I think. So all the way up, I've had this very, very pleasant sound of the, uh, of the water streaming down from the mountains heading all the way down there I had a terrible night's sleep last night I think it was uh, if I'm honest a bit a bit of apprehension I've never done this before by myself but of a lot of excitement as well and it uh, makes it very difficult to get to sleep I had the alarm set for four o'clock but ten to three tossing and turning I thought that's it I'm just getting up and I'm going for it so here we've got the fork in the road I'm going to take the traditional way up it's straight up there that's the way I'll be coming down I'm going to take a right here bit of excitement bit of scrambling and climbing up there and once we get to the top of there we will take a left then all the way to Scarfell Pike and there's a lot of loose rock there you can see where it's all fallen down over the years and just where sun is dropping down there that's where we're heading up there now the beauty about going up this way is there's not many people going to come up this way most people will go straight up there the the popular route up there so it should be nice and quiet for me and there was a little bit of a a grassy bit there to walk over where the path seemed to vanish but uh, just stick with it and eventually you come onto this one here and that's where we're heading up there now it's nice to see the sun there what's not nice is to see them clouds coming up over there I have been taking my time I haven't been pushing it at all 
uh, temptation when he got into here is to beast it a bit because uh, there's a lot of shale going up there. It's all shale going up there anyway, and the shale's constantly moving all the time. So as you're taking two steps forward, you feel as though the shale's pushing you one step back. But so I just go take it steady and just enjoy the day because I've got a long journey back home. So we parked at the car park here in the National Trust car park. So from there, went up Lingmel Gill, crossed over the gill, and then we'll follow our way up there. Now this junction here, you can take the traditional way up the Scarfell, but what I've done is uh, I've went this way. And I'm gonna push on up to Mickledore and then take a left to Scarfell and then drop down the way most people will come up. So I'm gonna get a bit of energy inside us there now and plow on. Jack it off, a quick drink, a sandwich, give myself a bit of energy, a little chocolate bar. Oh, I can feel the sun on my back. <laughs> Lovely. Gonna get cracking there now. Gonna beast it up there. Now somewhere over here, I'm not sure where to be quite honest, so I've never done it before, is uh, Lord's Rake. A very exciting climb up to the second highest summit in England, Scarfell. And there's only its big brother Scarfell Pike that's higher. Size of some of these rocks. Either way, I'm just waffling on here. Get bloody cracking, man. I'm following the path up there. And somewhere up there, there's a little gully to the top. You can really feel it on your calves coming up here. And like I said before, this shale is just constantly moving all the time so i'm really pleased i got my walking poles because they they do help you with the balance because every time you plant your foot it moves step take a step up i won't be that keen on following somebody up too close in case like uh, one of these stones comes there uh, bounding down but i'm trying to keep to the edge as much as i can and even that's hard work but i have a feeling it's hard to see where that sun in my eyes <laughs> It goes over towards the right hand side and almost where the sun is there's a little gully there which you can get through. That's what I'm thinking anyway. We'll soon find out. I'll tell you so much. It's bloody brutal this mine. Sun's dropped down there now which in a way is a blessing. Having said that I can feel a cold wind. Looks like a bit of black cloud over there which I'm not too keen on. Now I can't remember if it was to push over to the left there and go up the gully there or the right there I think I'm gonna go right first if not it'll definitely be the other way and I'm blown a bit now because I think this is gonna be hands and feet so I'll get the brow there I'm hoping that's the top there we'll soon find out we want a bit of excitement this is the way to come made it whoo that has had us huffing and puffing but i tell you something man oh man look at those views got up there is Scarfell the second highest point in England we're leaving that for another day because we're heading up there oh, Scarfell Pike which is kind of see it yet up over the top and I think we should be about good half an hour 45 minutes tops I think I know there's a few dodgy clouds and that over there but I, I'm gonna have to stop here for a bit I don't give a damn how long it took us to get up it takes us to get up there I just want to take all this in so all we've done is once we got to the top we just took a, a left and then walked past the rescue post I don't know why people have got to write bloody stupid things on but then again unfortunately nowadays there's a lot of stupid people about but one day they may be up here they may be in need of that, that rescue post I've been studying about 15 minutes hey dear 
I should move because them clouds are looking a bit ominous and in the distance you can see some mist coming in but you're not up here every day I've only ever been up here twice before and yeah I've said before it's nice to have it on film but unless you're here you just kind of fully appreciate it it just absolutely blows my mind the path seems to disappear I think it's right in front of us there to be honest that's the direction I'm heading and I think when you get to the lip there I should in the distance be able to see the summit from there but a very bouldery walk to the summit that's the only part I don't particularly like because uh, not a place you want to twist anything but uh, either way the black clouds are following me all the way over here I can see what's going to happen just as I get to the top but either way I've had a great day so far I've really enjoyed it so the reassuring sign there and as we look around even though it all looks like it's all rocks we can see another one there and another one there so I'm quite happy that we on the right track thank goodness <laughs> and if I will check my map and also check view ranger as well well these rock markers are great all the way over the boulders it guides you all the way down if you're going down or in my case up very well done to whoever put them there I assume it's the National Trust do a very very good job summit in sight and there's the path there going down a lot of people that came after me have gone up because this is the only problem going this way yes it's more fun it's more exciting it's more of a challenge having said that so I'm not gonna have the top to myself which would have been nice either way another five minutes be at the top so I top of Scarfell Pike again and for the second time by a mickle door really good route really exciting route challenging route but uh, if you want a bit of fun if you want a bit of excitement that's definitely the, the route to take I really enjoyed it worthwhile getting up at 10 to 3 in the morning three hours drive over here and then huffing and puffing all the way up just for these magical moments and like I always say <laughs> it'll most likely be my last time I'll tell you something never ever will be never ever will be Three quarter hours to get to the top. I did it just under three hours last time. Having said that, this time it's been a lot more filming. That's the beauty when you're by yourself. You can just take your time. Sometimes when you're with a group, you've got to go to the pace of the group. And uh, I've really made sure I've enjoyed myself today. final look at Scarfell Pike Summit very rocky very bouldery and for a couple of minutes I was the highest person in England 
978 meters, 3,200 feet. But uh, well worth it. And uh, despite us getting up crack of dawn this morning, I feel absolutely buzzing. Final look at the views, and then we're going to make the long walk all the way back down again. And all of a sudden, the mist comes in, the temperature drops, the rain starts. And don't worry, I'm not going to sing. I think I'm going to have to beast it down. Who the hell am I kidding? As quick as it came, it's gone. Yeah, it's all just blown over. So hopefully people have just passed. Very nice people, been chatting to. They'll get a nice view of the top. And this is how the conditions are changing here. In seconds, it's just all blown in again. And you can very easily get lost in a couple of minutes. The camera's really lighting this up. There's people walking down there, I kind of see them within 20 seconds. path is absolutely chock a block of people there's not a soul going up there but like I say it is a challenge to get up there you've got to really push yourself uh, it's exciting it's enjoyable but it's not for everybody but uh, I'm really pleased I got up there what a boy what a boy and this is what it's like you want to get it all the way up Yep, a lot setting the world alight, a lot of filming, a lot of taking photographs, not as many rests as last week and I was up hell of a especially when you consider I've been up since 10 to 3. Very nice of you to stop if you have stopped all the way along, I really do appreciate that and uh, hopefully it won't be too long before we're back out again. Thanks very much for watching.